Welcome back to the Engineered Angler. As usual, I have way too many projects going on at one time. The the work on my lure turner has come to a near stop. I, I ordered some material online and it, it's taken a long time to get here. So for now, this project is on hold. I'm going to set it aside and work on some other things. I'm in the middle of making a mount for my camera for underwater work that goes on my power pole. So. That's the next video. Okay, I'm at the back of my boat. If you didn't notice, the square part is the back. Anyway, um, this is my power pole. It's an older version, but it's works really well. I've actually put a uh, piece of heat shrink on this thing uh, because the fiberglass gets kind of, uh, I don't know, what do you call it, fuzzy? And then when you touch it, you get fiberglass, uh, little fiberglass shavings in your fingers. It's terrible. But anyway, so lately, why did I get off on that? Lately, I've been doing a bunch of uh, underwater shots, not a bunch, but some underwater shots. Uh, and I've been doing it with this handheld deal where I'm just doing this kind of thing, sticking it underwater and laying on the deck and putting my arm as deep as it will go because I'm in, you know, eight or nine feet of water. Um, that kind of sucks. <laughs> so I, I was hoping to come up with a better idea. I was thinking of strapping something to the boat and um, it, it just seemed ridiculous. But then I thought of this thing. My uh, pin anchor, the power pole, um, and I thought this is perfect. It reaches eight feet down. Uh, it's hydraulic. I can push one button, have it go exactly where I want. And then pull it back up. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to mount a camera on this. Uh, here's the deal. My material of choice for this build is PVC. Obviously, <laughs> I don't want to do it in aluminum, and that's the only other thing I could hand, handle the salt water. So PVC actually works out pretty good. Plus, I got a bunch of it laying around. If you take regular schedule, 20 uh, half inch, it almost fits, but it doesn't. But that's good news because what I figured out is if I put a nice thin kerf cut on my bandsaw down the middle of this same kind of tube, I can get it to just slide up really nicely. Now, to hold it there, you don't need much, but a wing nut uh, hose clamp works perfect. So all you gotta do, slide it up and clamp it in, and it's on there. That's not coming off. Also what I discovered, which is kind of good news, is the normal half inch coupler is perfect for putting one of these pipe clamps on. It fits really snugly. Snugly? Is that a word? I also want to put a flashlight or some kind of light so I can illuminate it because this thing does reach eight feet. So if I'm in a little bit of a, a dark water situation where in a lake or something, I can light the place up. So let's go to the drawing board and I'll show you what I'm planning to do. We'll have to get rid of this. Ooh, that's going to take a little more work. Let's see if I can draw this to make sense. Here's the back of the boat. That's the transom. It comes down. It's got a little bit of an angle, blam, blam, whatever. Okay, so right here is the power pole. And it's, and the actual pole itself, right? What a line is about right here. So I want to make this thing fit on there. like so, come over to this side, and then come up, and the camera would be here, all right? In the middle here, I want a connection for a flashlight, a mount at least for a flashlight. So let me draw this a little bigger. Okay, so the first thing will be the half inch 
tube with a slit in it. It'll have the hose strap and its little butterfly nut. Doesn't exactly look like that. This will go down into a an elbow and then it'll go into a T. It'll the T will be facing this way. We're still looking at the back of the boat. It'll come out here. T ends. You get another elbow. And then this goes up a little ways. The bottom of that uh, power pole will be somewhere in here. Quarter line is actually down here. So right here, we'll need a coupler. And that's where the mount for the camera will be, right? And this will extend out and I can have, you know, multiple type, multiple joint type connectors on it. Half inch, schedule 20. I don't know what that is in Europe. We'll need two elbows, 90 degrees. Uh, we'll need one coupler. And we'll need one T. So that's it, that's the plans. Uh, let's build it. Okay, here are the materials. Uh, pretty simple, straightforward. The only thing that may not be totally obvious if you haven't worked with PVC is that to put these uh, fittings together, you need to have something in the middle and about an inch and a quarter piece works perfectly. I've been doing most of my cuts either with this cutter. You can do everything by hand and this is not precision work so plus it's not really plumbing so if it, it's not like you care about it if it leaks. So also you can do the uh, cut down the middle with a hacksaw. I'm going to use the band saw because it's just easier but you can do it with this, get it started and then finish it off by hand. It takes about uh, six inches depth so I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these tubes, get it cut and then I'll uh, I'll come back and start putting it together. Okay, so I went out to the boat and measured how much I needed this, and I need five inches. Okay, so now I got all the little nubs that need to go in this thing. Uh, this go like that. This will be like so. And then the camera. Okay, on the camera, it, it's going to mount on this coupler. I already put this on, uh, and I've got to trim it back. I don't want it sticking up that high, so I'm thinking, well, let's assemble this and just get a feel for what it looks like out on the boat. Okay, here's the camera. Here's the mount. You know what? I want to also and put these um, flashlights on here just so I can get a feel for how this thing is going to want to aim. Okay, this is kind of what it looks like. It's a bit of a contraption, but let's uh, let's go see what it's going to look like out there. I'm going to bring a pencil, and I think I think that's all I need. Let's see how this thing's going to go. We'll have to get all these angles right. This will slide like this. That looks pretty good. I think I can make this a little shorter. And this will then be able to be angled to shine at whatever the subject is. This can be a little bit of an, on an angle. I think that's what I'm gonna do there. And then I wanna take about two inches off this. Let's, uh, let's cut glue and we'll come back out and take a look at it.
I've sanded this piece and cleaned it with a little alcohol and then I put a couple of marks. I don't know if you can see them to show where I want them. And so it's just a matter of putting the glue and aligning this thing. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna loosen this way up. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue right like that, slide this up, and then that should do it. That's actually the build. Uh, well, let's go see how it matches up to uh, the plans we drew on the board. That looks pretty good. Damn, I almost drew it to scale. So now we'll just put it on the boat. Uh, and we'll run that power pole a couple of times just to see what it looks like going up and down. Okay, so this is what it'll look like uh, when I'm out there trying to put it on. So I wanted to kind of show you. I'll have to lean over. And I'm doing it very carefully this time because I'm not exactly sure how to do it. So I'll have to do this and slide it on. It looks like it's easy enough to do with one hand. And then just torque down the wing nut. And that really sets it up pretty nicely. Let's see what happens when I drop this power pole a little bit. <laughs> Very cool. Is that not cool? I'm pretty happy with this. Gonna have to be a little bit uh, careful when I uh, bring it back up so it doesn't because it comes up pretty abruptly. And then uh, the depth too, right? I don't want to like bash this into the bottom. But otherwise, I think it's gonna work. It's time to pull it apart and put it away somewhere safe uh, on board so that I don't forget it next time. Uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you, if you enjoy this kind of stuff. Comment if you've got a better idea or if you've done something similar. Um, so don't forget to check out the uh, Engineered Angler Facebook page. I'm trying to keep it up, up to date and, and have a few little extras in there, photographs and things that I'm doing in between the videos. Thanks a lot. I'll catch you on the next one.